Many find it strange that her writing is thought to be tortuous. Her recent essays, although longer than most of her earlier essays, are extremely blank. So we have a contrast here between the two parts of the sentence. And although signals that contrast. So we say, ah, two parts of the sentence, the part before the semicolon, the part after the semicolon, those are going to be in opposition. What we have in the first part of the sentence is the idea that her writing is tortuous. That is, it's lengthy and complex, has many twists and turns. That's what tortuous means. So when it pertains to writing, it's lengthy and complex. Now we read the next part. It says, all the longer than most of her earlier essays. So it's conceding or accepting that, hey, this is a long essay. It's saying it's not complex. It's a word that is the opposite of complex. So are extremely. And so you can maybe come up with your own word, word here. And my word is going to be straightforward. Of course, you do not have to come up with your own word, but you should get a vague sense of that word, what that word is. And if you can say, hey, it must be the opposite of complex, then that may be enough. So let's see. Let's go through the answer choices here. We have painstaking. That requires a lot of pain, a lot of labor, something that is difficult. We just want something that's straightforward, not complex. Tedious means it goes on and on and it's boring and lengthy. That doesn't work. Because again, we're going for the opposite of complex. So C, insightful. Now, insightful is a positive thing. And I think when people look at this question, they may think, well, we know it's not something negative, so it must be positive. But think about it. If something is insightful, is that really the opposite of complex? And it's not real. So you can get rid of it. Sophisticated. Sophisticated is definitely not the opposite of complex. And then E, clear. Something is clear, it's straightforward, it's to the point, it's not complex. And there's our 